Bitcoin now up roughly 146% here to date. It's gained nearly 70% this quarter. Let's bring in Catherine Coley. She's the CEO of uh, Binance. And um, Catherine, let, let's start with the moves that we have been seeing here. I mean, what's been driving the gains? Thanks so much. It's really been amazing to see this rally driven largely by spot buyers. You're seeing the funding premiums of the perpetual futures still actually be relatively low, stuck in that kind of range where they were at 12,000. So this acceleration of price has been largely led by the real gains in validation that we're seeing that we didn't see in 2017. So for the first time ever, you're seeing congressmen and women understand Bitcoin. You're seeing uh, macro investors understanding Bitcoin. You're even seeing corporate treasuries understanding and adding Bitcoin to their balance sheets. And Catherine, we've seen a few other uh, commodity traders, big names in the commodity space. You can look at Paul Tudor Jones uh, coming on board as well. But one of those early adopters, Mike Novogratz, was uh, on CNBC earlier uh, talking about a price target of fifty dollars to $60,000 per Bitcoin by next year. Uh, kind of stretching into that idea that you can capture about 10% of the gold market. That's where the price comes from. Um, but talk to me about how the enthusiasm right now, compared to what you saw back in 2017, could maybe make that a reality, uh, considering, uh, I guess, this, this new breakout we're seeing play out now. Very much so. This industry is in constant motion. So what we've seen in the last week isn't us sitting on our laurels, but still building. You've seen Novogratz have an amazing uh, week of announcements. Uh, you've seen PayPal come into the U.S. retail market. Binance U.S. has launched our uh, connection with Silvergate Exchange Network, allowing institutional traders to come through. And we're even launching a new app coming out in the near future. So the best part about this industry is we're still evolving, still building, regardless of the price. Certainly a lot of new investors looking to get in. And I'm curious how, how you think they should be looking at this. There's been so much debate about whether it is considered a safe haven asset, whether it is a hedge, whether it should be traded in tandem with gold. I mean, what have you seen shift around the trades in this most recent surge that we've seen? We've definitely seen the infrastructure mature since the last year or so. And in that, you've seen different ways of people being able to come into trading. So dollar cost averaging has actually been quite popular and quite successful for many investors in this past year, knowing that what lies ahead is definitely a digital future, accelerated by the pandemic for sure. And what, what they're going into is not necessarily timing their entries and exits with expectations, but just growing their position over time. So having having dollar cost averaging integrated into these exchanges, as well as seeing just the, the maturity of the products available, Grayscale is at an all-time high in terms of the Bitcoin they hold under custody. And, and as you just see, this access is becoming more and more available for everyone. Yeah, Catherine, as one of the as one of the CEOs of the largest uh, exchanges here in the U.S., I mean, talk to me about regulatory changes because we saw uh, the chairman of the SEC is going to be stepping down. Uh, that that's news. Each time I see Bitcoin back up at these highs, it gives me a little of anxiety. Just kind of watching the way things have changed over regulatory updates. Uh, what kind of clarity have we gotten over the last couple of years on that front, though? And and how much is still remaining to be seen? Uh, what changes could come through when we get a new chairman of the SEC? You've seen a tremendous amount of collaboration in the U.S., specifically with the industry players, to make sure that we are not falling behind as a country involved in digital assets. So the great work of the Blockchain Association, getting involved with other um, groups that are really pounding the pavement in Washington to make sure people are understanding what we're building and the access we're providing. That being said, we're doing everything through the books. So it is a compliant and regulated platform where we make sure that our users have that confidence in us to be leading them forward in where we're, we're headed with the U.S. regulation. So we're excited to see the changes. We've ourselves been going through the money transmission license process across the states, now available in 41 of the 50 states and continuing to add more states going forward. Catherine Coley, the CEO of Binance US. It's good to talk to you today. Thank you so much.